shape and color discrimination and match to sample training in Gentoo penguins by Anna Svensson and Paola Cuevas. For many years, several species, including goats, rats, cows, birds, and even octopus, have been trained for shape and color discrimination. So we thought, why not try penguins? The Snow Penguin Project has been a great success in Dubai since it started in 2011. And over 78,500 guests came to learn and interact with our penguins last year. Our penguin family consists of two species of Antarctic penguins, 10 king penguins and 14 gentoo penguins. They have all been trained through positive reinforcement methods for interactive programs and presentations at Ski Dubai. Our objective is the mental stimulation as enrichment and to establish the basic behavioral training for future research on the cognition abilities and visual capacities in Gentoo Penguin. The following are just some examples of the research possibilities. Are the actual theories of color perception based on the study of the receptor cells of the penguin retina supported or refuted by their behavior? Are penguins able to discriminate, generalize and associate geometrical shapes of different sizes presented in different angles? Are penguins able to associate three-dimensional object with a two-dimensional picture of that same object? This is just to mention a few. We started with the discrimination training and this was the method. Five of our gentoo penguins between five and seven years old were involved in this project. Toby and Speedy, both males. Lollipop, Sneezy and Pebbles, females. We used laminated prints of two-dimensional images with the black outline geometrical shapes or color squares. The shapes we chose for the project were a circle, a triangle and a square. The colors we started with were yellow, blue, red and orange. Toby was reinforced for targeting on the yellow color. Sneezy for red and orange. Lollipop for a triangle, Speedy for a circle and Pebbles for the color blue. Our first step was of course to desensitize the penguins to the laminated papers and training them to target it in our hand. The second step was to transfer the targeting behavior when placed in different locations, for example against the wall or on the floor. Once the penguin had a history of reinforcement for a specific shape or color, we introduced a second to start with the discrimination training. A third color or shape was then introduced and the penguins continued to have a positive response. Even during the early stage of the annual molt, the penguins showed high motivation to participate in the discrimination task. It is important to note that during this step, the percentage of accurate responses by Lollipop, trained to discriminate the triangle, had a bit of a regression. She was always accurate in discriminating between a circle and a triangle. But when the square was introduced, the number of fails increased. We attribute this to the similarity of the straight lines that compose the square and the triangle. So we had to regress a step and create a strong history of reinforcement, discriminating those two shapes, and then introduce the circle again. In aim to integrate the public in the sessions, we decided we would need to make the shapes and colors bigger in size, and we created some stands and acrylic rackets to which we pasted a bigger sized laminated paper. During this step, we again desensitized the penguins to the acrylics and taught them to target on them. Then we pasted the laminated paper onto the acrylics. In this step, the penguins amazed us as they could immediately generalize and transfer their discrimination abilities from one size to the other 
with no need of extra training when two or more options were presented. Same results were observed from the shapes and the colors. An A to B behavior was also trained, as this would allow our public to participate. And this is how our successful integration looks. Participating in this video, we have Toby, Lollipop and Speedy. Go ahead, go choose yellow. Okay, you have to switch. Don't expect it to get for eight and quiz and counter. Do something different and meet all of our 24 penguins. Now we He will determine which is the circle. Way! I'm gonna run on pause for Speedy! Speedy Circle! Yeah! Once the penguins have proved able to discriminate shapes and colors, a new question came up. Can penguins understand the concept of match to sample? The new challenge for our penguins was to select the same shape or color as the one presented by the trainer, transferring from the recognition of one shape or color with a strong history of reinforcement to the use of attention, memory and discrimination skills taken to the next level. For three of our penguins, Toby, Pebbles and Sneezy, we continued working with the acrylic stands but adding new graphics and eliminated the old ones with a strong history of reinforcement to avoid any confusions. In the case of Lollipop and Speedy, we introduced three dimensional objects. For the first steps, the sensitization to new objects and graphics started. We used what we found handy. For the objects, a rock stand, two cones, two blue plastic balls and two empty plastic bottles that we soon realized we have to fill up with salt to make heavier. The penguins were trained to target on the objects pointed. Once the penguins were trained to target on all the three different objects, we introduced a sample as a discriminative stimulus. Attention to SD object was reinforced. We started with one object at a time. The same process applied for the stands with the new graphics, and this could also be done from a distance, including an A to B behavior. The penguins were expected to stay on station until the SD object was presented and the verbal cue match to initiate the targeting behavior. We eventually faded the verbal cue and the sample became the cue to initiate the targeting behavior. Eventually, two objects were presented and only one SD to match. Once finally the match concept started to grasp in, some new objects and graphics were introduced and mixed in with the old ones to add variability. We found that this was a trigger point for the penguins to understand what we really expected from them. And after many, many repetitions, here are some of the results.
Our ping friends keep amazing us. This year they have proven able to discriminate colors and shapes and to generalize between sizes of the same shape or color. Our penguins have also showed the understanding of the match to sample concept both with three-dimensional objects and with two-dimensional graphics. This process has proved very enriching, not only for the penguins, but also for us, their trainers and the public. But wait, Paula, it was not always that easy. No, Anna, you know it wasn't. Thank you for watching.